It is a beautiful morning here at the household. We're gonna do a maintenance wash on my 340i using solely Gion products because now we are partnered with Gion. Super blessed, super thankful to Gion. They sent me out a bunch of products through this maintenance wash. And I recently got my car coated by Hands On Detailing Florida. And we did the infinite coating by Gion and that's their five year coating. And it's just top of the line. We also topped it with their top coat. And yeah, so it's the car is just super hydrophobic, super slick, super protected for five years plus. And yeah, it just makes maintenance wash a breeze. So I'm super stoked to be a partner with Gion because their products are really just really top quality and I wouldn't rep them if it wasn't. So today I'm super excited to use the full lineup to do my maintenance wash because I haven't used their foam or their bathe. Uh, I did have some experience with their ceramic detailer on my last wash and that was just awesome especially paired with the ceramic coating. And usually like when you have a ceramic coating with a certain product or brand, you kind of want to use uh, the same line of products when you do all your maintenance washes and details. It just makes it easier, you know, everything meshes with the coating and nothing interferes. All right, so we're gonna wash the wheels, do the wheel process. Thankfully, my wheels are already coated in Gion Rim. I did that first thing when I bought these wheels and it's been great, you know, wheels don't even get dirty. I think I just, I won the, the brake pad lottery <laughs> somehow because when I bought this car, you know, I just, the wheels just never get much brake dust at all compared to like OEM BMW brakes that what we're all used to. So the wheels aren't really dirty and then the Gion rim really just helps the brake dust not to stick at all or any road grime or anything. So I'm just gonna rinse it off, hit it with my Gion products, the wheel cleaner and then the tire cleaner. All right, so we got the GL wheel cleaner. This is my first time using it. So it's also has iron uh, decontamination in it. So it's strong and effective and you can use it on any type of wheel surface. And I really like the Gion the sprays, the triggers. You know, it's a long, I guess, trigger. And it works with me, you know, with some people with bigger hands. <laughs> also the atomizer works really well. Like it, it's a really nice mist. And you know, you can easily just cover the entire wheel surface. I'm gonna spray on some super clean, super clean tires. <laughs> They're tire cleaner. I haven't used a tire cleaner specifically on these tires yet. Hopefully this will help the tire dressing, you know, adhere a little better and spread more evenly and, you know, really soak into the tire. So with any wheel cleaning process, you know, always, I guess, let the product dwell for a little bit, if it's not in the sun especially. And then hit the barrels first. I like to go from top to bottom. And of course, I'll link all the products in the description below so you can find them and get them for yourself. All right, now we got our wheel mitt. This specific mitt works really well. I really like it. Just because, you know, it easily fits on the hand. I definitely recommend put some gloves on just in case, you know, dealing with some chemicals here. And I prefer not to get those in the skin, <laughs> absorb in the body. But yeah, this just makes it super easy, especially with these wheels, just reach behind the spokes and cover all the surfaces. And this cleaner is doing a really good job of foaming up, you know, has that iron removal in it. So this, this would work really well on some caked, <laughs> 
caked wheels full of brake dust. And I like to use like a detail brush to go ahead and get in and all the crevices, the wheel studs, and just these tight little areas. And also the valve stem cover cap. So I'm finding this, the tire cleaner kind of dries up a little fast, which is good. You know, it's, it's getting embedded into the tire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more on my brush. And then really give it a good scrub. I noticed that um, even though I clean my car pretty often, like I'm still getting some browning coming off of the tires. So that's really good. You know, this is a strong and effective cleaner that I didn't know I needed. <laughs> All right, so we got our Geon foam. We're gonna use in the foam cannon. So that's a one to five dilution ratio. So I'll just put 200 milliliters of soap in my 1,000 milliliter uh, foam cannon. We got the MJGC Pro foam cannon. It's one of the better ones on the market. Works really well, especially for the price. It smells good, it smells kind of citrusy. What I like to do is I like to foam the car down first. Uh, my car is it's pretty clean right now and it's ceramic coated so it really never gets that dirty because I keep up with the maintenance. You know, like every two weeks I wash the car and it's also garage kept. So it doesn't really get that dirty unless I really drive it a lot and then the rain and all that. So I just, I foam it down first and then rinse the car. I should get a majority of the dirt off. So the reason why I like to foam the car first is actually the soap will work better. If you rinse the car first and you add the foam to it, then it's even more diluted and the soap doesn't work as well. Um, so yeah, that's just my preference, you know. It's a good pre-soak. So the soap works really well, obviously, you know, Geon products never fails, but I had the foam cannon turned up a pretty high amount of foam. And you know, it's, it's really good if you have more like, um, I guess oils or really heavy contaminants on the car. But now I'm just gonna turn my dial and get more of like a drippy sud. Uh, that's gonna help just with my car that's not as dirty, and, you know, help to drip all the dirt off the car. Cause that's the whole point of foaming the car first. That's like shaving cream. <laughs> they got it the wrong way. Previous soaps I use in the past, uh, usually I would use the entire foam cannon by now, going through the whole car, but I don't know, for some reason, this is like really efficient <laughs> or something, because I still have like half my foam cannon left, so I'm just gonna have some fun. <laughs> uh, turn the foam can so that the foam's not uh, super thick, and just go around the car again, so until I run out. You see that? <laughs> That beating and sheeting in the water, that ceramic coating in action, that's crazy. So we let the foam dwell for a little bit. This side of the car is in the sun, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this side off first. You know, we really don't wanna let um, soap sit on the car in the sun, or any soap really. But since it's ceramic coated, it should rinse off no problem.
So we're gonna use some Gion Bathe now. We're gonna do a two bucket wash method with two mitts. You know, you can still scratch a ceramic coating regardless of what anyone says. It's really just a superficial sacrificial layer on top of the clear coat. So you can still scratch it and that's why I'm gonna be extra careful. All right, so I'm gonna do like three pumps, or you know, just a couple, maybe like 10. <laughs> So this soap is specifically you know, designed for the, the hand wash method. And I do have Bathe Plus, which actually also adds some ceramic coating in it. I think it has SiO2 in it. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's kind of like wet coat. And there are also other product Glass Plus. So you know, it adds some extra protection in there too while you're washing, so that's convenient. All right, so I got my first wash mitt. It always start top to bottom. Go in straight lines, don't go swirl motions, and you make swirl marks. You can just see like the ceramic coating performs so well. It's in my opinion, as a car guy, you know, if you're gonna own your car at least a year, it's worth it to get it ceramic coated for sure. Especially using like a Gion ceramic coating. You know, you can look into it on their website. You know, they use some like different technology that not every company uses in their coating. And it just works really well. You can feel it, it's so like glossy and the, the mitt just glides so effortlessly. It just, <laughs> it really just makes the wash so much more satisfying. And the reason why I wash my car myself is because, you know, it's kind of like therapy to me. You know, I really enjoy my car. I enjoy keeping it clean majority of the time. A good way for me to have like an outlet that's like, you know, put away the technology and everything and just clean the car. And also I have, Slight OCD, so. <laughs> yeah, so you just wanna do some sections at a time and then dump your mint in the rinse bucket. Just make sure we get any dirt we might have picked up out of the mint in a separate bucket. And then we can repeat the process, go on top to bottom. And applying like literally no pressure, I'm just gliding the mint across the surface. And when you're washing a BMW, don't keep the key in your pocket. Normally when your car's ceramic coated, and especially you know after a year or two, depending on if you got a three year, five year, or even one year coating, occasionally you know, when the car is dirty, the water beating and the hydrophob hydrophobicity, <laughs> that's even a word, it, uh, you know, it doesn't work as well when it's dirty, because obviously there's dirt on the surface, it's not ceramic coating. So now that the car has been cleaned properly, I'm gonna show you all the hydrophobics. Pretty crazy. <laughs> this is what the real deal gets you. Pretty much dry the car like this. Another one of my favorite parts of the wash is just to see all the. Oh, there's a little bit of water. You got some water on you. <laughs> Pretty much dry the majority of the car. You know, I still like to apply my ceramic detailer, uh, but you know, this gets majority of the work done, so you have to use less towels. Using Gion soft wipe towel and ceramic detailer. This just adds a little bit of boost of ceramic coating on top. You know, it's good just for maintenance, maintenance details. And yeah, it works really good. I mean, I've never felt anything more slick of a combination than a Gion ceramic coating and this detailer. It just works so well. So I'll just you know, spray some on the towel. Actually fold it over. A little bit goes a long way. Just to you know wipe up the extra little water spots. And it just feels so smooth and slick under the towel. Amazing. <laughs> and I do also like to add this to my windshield. My windshield is ceramic coated too. You can get a Gion Quick View. It's actually pretty easy 
windshield ceramic coating to apply and it works really well. So this will just add some extra boost, especially if you're going on a long trip. It'll just make it that much easier to wipe off the bug guts <laughs> that you get from your drive. You can also add this to your rims too, since you know the rims are coated in Gion rim. It's just extra boost everywhere. <laughs> the whole car being ceramic coated. You just spray it on a towel, that way you don't get any overspray. This Gion rim, I believe it's a one year coating. Uh, that's what it's rated for. And so you can also just add this as a boost and you can also do wet coat too, like when you're six months in and that works really well to just keep the coating alive. All right, so we got Tire Express, easy daily, you know, tire shine. So it also adds some protection to the wheel as well, you know, UV rays and all that just prevents it from browning, essentially. So we also have the Gion Tire Shine applicator. Let's put a decent amount on it. And then easily conforms the shape of the tire. And I like this stuff, you just, once you apply it, get it nice and even application. You let it dry for 15 minutes, and then maybe take a, a microfiber and you know, wipe off the excess if there is any. But yeah, once it's all soaked in the tire, it leaves a really nice matte, like sleek finish. It makes the tire look a little darker and also lasts a long time too. So if y'all are wondering why my car stays so clean, well, there you have it. It's because it's GNized. Overall, a great wash day. I love washing my car on the weekends, you know, taking care of it, dialing it in for the rest of the week and maybe to shoot some more content during the weekend. Overall, super satisfied with all the Gion products that they sent out to me. Huge thank you to Gion. Make sure you check them out. I'll link all their products down below in the description so you can grab them yourself. Another tip for the ceramic detailer, if you're gonna put that on your glass or on the front windshield, um, you just want to spray it on your towel, wipe it on the glass, and then flip your towel to the dry side and just buff it out so there's no streaks. But on the paintwork, there's just there's no streaking whatsoever. Like, it's a really good detailer and drying aid to use. And, you know, it doesn't attract dust like other drying aids like Beadmaker. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products or my detailing methods. Make sure to check out my previous videos, all the mods that I've done to my 340i and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.